The Baltic Sea anomaly is made of metals not produced by our nature, according to claims. The mysterious Baltic Sea anomaly claims metals that nature could not produce by themselves. It has been claimed, and the revelation has sent UFO hunters, of course, into a frenzy. The odd-shaped object has fascinated mystery buffs since it was discovered back in June 2011. The anomaly is a 210-foot or 70-meter long, strangely shaped feature that showed up on sonar. It was laying uh, 300 feet beneath the waves, 100 meters down. Theories as to what the anomaly could have been uh, range from the interesting, of the, the interesting to the outrageous, with the most crackpot claim to date that it could be part of a fleet of crash UFOs in the Baltic Ocean floor. Some conspiracy theories even pointed out it bears a striking resemblance to Star Wars Millennium Falcon with a steel gray appearance. Others claim it could be the remains of a sunken city lost to the waves years ago. A team of divers known as Ocean X allegedly collected samples from the anomaly and found it contains limonite and geothite. According to Israeli geologist Steve uh, Weiner, these are, quote, metals which nature could not produce itself, end quote. In other words, they were manufactured. If that was no, not strange enough, Stephen Hogerborn, part of the OceanX team, said their electrical equipment stopped working when they got to within 200 meters of the anomaly on the Baltic seabed. He's quoted by NDTV as saying, anything electric out there and the satellite phone as well stopped working when we were above that object. And then we got away about uh, 200 meters and it turned on again. And when we got back over the object, it stopped again. Diver Peter Lindbergh said, we have experienced things that I really could not imagine. And I have been the team's biggest skeptic regarding these different kinds of theories, he said. He said, I was kind of prepared just to find a stone or cliff or outcrop or pile of mud, but it was nothing like that. So for me, it has been a missing experience, I must say. This is by Sean Martin, Express UK on Bedded Reality. Please leave your comments and thank you for your support. Finally support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below.